Back to part three of the B21 tutorial. Uh, there was a couple small issues. I know it's like some of you guys were having issues with the tutorial. Number one, make sure you delete this little, this little goofy goober block right here. It's, it's not going to be fun. Uh, I accidentally left it there and I noticed a bunch of you guys are having issues with that. I was like, yeah, that's, you want to delete that block. Anyways, it looks like today we're going to be, uh, since we, we've been working on this like front part, I guess we're going to move back and try to get the rest of this rear part done. Um, so I guess let's get right into the video. Uh, so looks like we can start off with this part over here. We have a little half wedge down right on this edge. I'm gonna just slap it in right there. Right on, it's right about here actually. Hold on, let me put it there, it's okay. So it's on the very rear edge and you have a normal half block. And then uh, you go one, two, one, two, so. so both all of this goes back to. And then it looks like this happens. With these little half corner wedge downs you're using. But we actually use a well let's first let's make sure this thing is out just barely in front of the rest of the but then you, you're going to delete this in where it's actually a half wedge down, one by two. And then you gr you're going to grab some trails. These are going to go inwards from the very, from the base portion of this. One, two, three. Both of this will clip up. Now we're going to have this second locking part, which is going to look like this. So start off by placing two just randomly, two cameras randomly like that. But then these ones you have to line up right. So these ones are going to be, make sure they're oriented upwards correctly. Top right, top right. Also make sure the, we can set up the camera locking for the rest of these two really quick. So this one goes here. I mean, this one goes here. This one goes here. And these rear angles are uh, more, I mean, not as intense, so they don't, uh, I mean, they're more intense since, because you start off with a very slight angle, then you increase it a bit on those edges of the wings. And then next we have, doo -doo 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 -doo. so underneath this, we have um, some up, half, half wedge ups are lined lined up right behind the rest of the stuff which up half wedge up, up and then I believe is a half wedge corner half corner wedge up yes and it's facing inwards right about here half wedge in half wedge in then you go back and then have a half wedge down on the bottom see if this is gonna go where is my thing here we go then we go something like this wait do I what do I use so we have trails on the inside okay so um, trails right about here it looks like I I used the wrong block here. Give me a sec. I want half wedge ups, not corner wedge. Here we go. This goes there. And then, let me think so. Let me give an extra two half blocks. Half, half block, half, half block. Let's both of that 
actually this the trail keeps going and then we switch to another trail and it goes four to three and we switch here three two three Oh, where did I place that? Oh gosh, I hate when I place the next run. You have to go hunting and delete it. Anyways, so let's make sure this is coordinated right. So this trail is right about here. Let me take a look. Right about here, and then directly behind it, this trail. Okay, good. So once we get there, it's a block, and then a um block on the outer side and then a just normal block up block block wedges just normal wedge what do you call them just just normal base wedge yeah wedge that's what they're called i was wondering if they're called wedge blocks or something but no it's a wedge block is triangle wedge block is this but let's see and then we have a triangle wedge what is this one by one two th it's a triangle wedge one by four going inwards goes inwards right about here. Oh gosh, can't place it there. And then there's a three block gap in between the two. And then right above it, or to its left, in fact, uh, uh, one up is there's, not is there, is it, uh, there is a wedge one by four. I have enough space right here to finish the rest of this, but if I don't, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of deleting to do. Quite a bit of block block removal services. Anyways, so we have camera camera on the so here's the blocks. So you have a wedge one by four, and then you have a half wedge up on the outer edge. And it's connected to that by half blocks here. So let's make sure we know where this is. Gosh, let me go down. So yeah, it's right here. And there's three of them. Three of them. And then this thing connects. So three. And then these two have it. So one, two. One, two. Grab a another wedge one by four. And you're going to go half wedge up. Uh, that's gonna go right there. Once you've done that, just grab your little cameras, little, little cams. Yeah, little cams. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. And then we are doing pretty good now. Both of these going like this. One, two. One, two. And then. One, two. So this is basically a wedge beam. So we can just replace this with this. And then how far in is the other thing? Okay, it's two. So one. Where is this? Where, where are we building this right here? So one. And you're two. You can go one, two. Grab a locked motor. And you're just going to slide them right under both of these. Oh, on, there we go. So this is basically clipping down this thing right here. And what's going to be clipping down is these trap doors. Which are both, uh, remember it's semicolon, which means whatever key you use to clip stuff down. Um, like that, but... So this clips that part down, and then right across from it, this is our aileron basically it is a um these ailerons these high quality ailerons are made by control service control service wing panel one by two control service control service and now we will see if we have enough room so actually i think we have just enough room so let me check up 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 and let's see how many ex how much extra room we had we only had two extra blocks, so if I had built this thing two, two blocks, uh, I mean, three blocks farther back, I would have had to, would have had to move stuff around, which would not have been fun. But I would have had room for this upstairs, 
electrical stuff in the front, so that would have been smart, but it's fine. Um, so let's finish copying down the rest of this. So, block, 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 block. Then we go half forge down, main half block down thing. So once it exits that area, it switches basically just into this. So it's all half, half, what, what are these? Half wedge down one by twos. And those are, so we we'll just add a bunch of those in. Then you grab your motor, and we actually have... So this is what the text pattern, the text pattern we have right now, so basically gonna go um, wait how did they set it up no it's camera over here and that's because there's an extra beam here beam grab a half beam make it go backwards you should have an extra two block gap in there now and you're gonna fill up that gap in with this with a little L piece like that. Okay, what, what's blocking you? There ain't there there ain't nothing blocking you. Ooh. Playing crazy, there ain't nothing blocking you. Playing crazy. That's fine. Playing crazy just likes to be a goofy little goober game sometimes. If that ever happens, just move it back and forth. Especially when you have camera locking, because if you move it to the one side and then don't move it back, it'll uh, you'll have everything offset, which you don't want. That's not fun. Add these two extra cameras in. Go to motors. Place your motors there. Make sure they're locked. Um, and then grab your trap doors again. I don't know why I had one of these open, the others closed. Might as well make them all open. So you're just going to want to place them like this. Once all of that is done, go to signs, text one by two. Make sure they're facing this way, towards me, and then now they're facing away from me. That's, that's one way to think of it, so... So yeah, just remember all sign combos up, down, up, or in this case, left, right, left. They kind of swap. And then for this next part, we have a bunch of motor of locked motors lined up right about here. <clears throat> so they're right about here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then on the inner side facing towards each other you have two motors and they're just like this and then the settings you're going to use for this are on the left side sw5 1025 servo on and on the right side copy this w uh, ws5 1025 servo Once all of this is done, we move into this next little area where we actually go. So we're going to go one behind this. Start off with two half blocks, two half blocks, and then you're going to do this. You're going to grab a half block wedge and place them just like that. Let's make sure they're aligned right. Check. Should be lined with the second one to the right. Good. And then we're gonna go one, two, and then up two. So it's gonna go, it's gonna look like this basically. One, two. I know it's one, two, like that, right? Yeah, one, two. Make sure this is saved. Okay, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then you're gonna grab your little camera, place it right in front from it. Science text one by three. Also remember, if you guys ever want to remove your signs, very easy. Click on your sign, click on period, and then drag it all the way to the small setting, and it'll basically disappear. Just so you guys know, I, I assume you guys all knew that did it on all my other builds, but just so you guys know. Straightforward, like once you finish the tutorial, finish coloring it in, you, gotta do, you can do that all in the signs. Um, Anyways, let's see what else we've got to do. Looks like we've made pretty good progress. We just have a couple parts left to finish up. So, 
I, I, I was actually, I'd been wondering like how I was gonna like, because I wanted to have something right here to kind of block out people from viewing straight into all the mechanics. Um, but what I ended up doing was this thing, and I don't know why I colored them fabric. I assume I thought fabric would look more like the insides of a plane, but no, uh, it just kind of looks goofy. So we're gonna switch something up a bit, use our, our improvisation skills. So you have a couple options. You could just put like, you could do what I did, like half wedge down, one by two, and then a half wedge down like this. Um, if you, I guess that would work. Actually, I could probably just copy that, but not use the you know, goofy stuff I did. If, uh, if you had the extra space, you could like clip, continue clipping up here, and then clip like a um, clip like a half block like wedge down from the top to along like this edge. Uh, that would help it look a bit nicer coming in. But the best choice would just be to paint this all the same color, and no one would really notice. So. Anyways, once that's done, uh, grab. Uh, I'll link this um, emoji pattern, but it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve large white squares at 62.99 setting. And then you're just gonna place them, sprinkle them on like this. One, two, three, four. If you are ha remember, if you're having a, a black camouflage like the B2 bomber and stuff. Make sure you get the large black squares, but other than that, it would be the exact same thing. So once all of this is done, it looks like, um, we're actually pretty close. And then, so we just grab two cameras now, face them both backwards away. There should be a one block gap till this, and then a one, two block gap till that TNT, good. Okay, that's all in line, right? Let's work on these ailerons in the sides too, so. Because actually, first go to these, go to your wingtips, go to the very front, and go one, two, delete. Other one, one, two, delete. Color them green or whatever color you use to distinguish. Because if you don't color these, there's a high chance you'll just think you placed extra blocks and end up deleting it. Like how do I tell? I'm this isn't one of the camera locked blocks. The best way to do that is to color all your camera locked blocks something specific. But actually, now that I'm not looking at those anymore, I can do this. And let's make sure this is clipping over to the left, right? Yep, okay, there we go. So, this is all good. Let's see what else we gotta do. Um, also, make sure you have this thing, unless you're trying to eyeball it, which I would not recommend, but you can eyeball it. It will not prevent you from eyeballing it. But yeah, so, ailerons, ailerons. So, ailerons work like this. Start off with the camera up, uh, bottom right of these black little lower intake parts. Then you're gonna go sign, text one by three. And you're basically going to offset it on this very back side. So what I remember, what I recommend doing, place well, both, place two texts up like this and then rotate it to the right so you can place it starting on the end. Or you could do something else, but, or you could like place one here on top and then place it down. Either tech, either way works. But um, now you're going to do this. So it's going to be down, up, up. So that's the way I like to think of it. So down, down, up, up 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 once that's done it's down um if i actually i can copy this you see what it is so it, we go um up down up up down weep up mm -mm. up down up and then grab your trail place it right here facing forward because it's going to grab onto something let's make sure it's the right lineup right about there and then top so top down it's right there from side it should be boring the front of this edge front of this edge back it should be in line with the very edge of this very edge of this check if any, if any one of those things is wrong i'd recommend for watching some other parts of the tutorials see what part you might have possibly made an oopsie on but anyways so starting on this we have a one by four one by four um ten okay so it's a one by four one by four one by two and it all starts on that line so one by four one by four one by four one by four one by two one by two delta wings one by two 
Delta wing one by two, delta wing one by two. Delta wing one by two, delta wing one by two. And once you have all of that done, on these right two parts near the end of them, you're gonna add some, sprinkle some camera in, sprinkle some cameras on. It's like a cooking show, someone's cooking show. Sprinkle those cameras on your boot. Let's see what else we have. So we have a piston, and which side is it facing? Okay, so it's facing forward. Grab, so gra get a piston out and copy these settings down. Whatever key you use for, to push them, you do this before uh, the rest of your angling. So the very first key you push when spawning it is normally this one. But um, yeah, so copy these settings down, 0.25 distance, 2500 is fourth, toggle and lock. And then we can just copy the settings down onto our little clipboard thing here. And then we can just place two pistons facing forward, one, two. Then what you're gonna do next is connect it like this. And so we're gonna do, this, this is where things get confusing, but you go one, two, one. I mean, not like that, but what is it again? It is, yeah, it's one. Oh gosh, come on, let me place, let me place. There we go, one, two, grab a camera. In the front, one, two, grab some trails. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, no, where, where, did, my, where did the other one go? Where did the, did I double clip or, did I double click and place an extra one over here? Okay, don't think I did. My brain just died it for a second, but you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once all of this is done, right on this edge, where, where it switches, we're basically gonna cover up this sharp edge because, um, like you could, I this this plane does have a couple goofy goober edges on the bottom, but those are way easier to ignore in comparison to sharp edges on the top because not everyone's always staring at the bottom of their plane, but the top of the plane, especially when you're like landed or just flying around and looking at your plane, is what you'll see. So. You want to cover those up. And then we have one, two, three, four. So four control surfaces starting at this end. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we have these little ailerons. Just add in the, 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 the little ailerons. The little ailerons. Sprinkle in some ailerons, side of ailerons. Uh, DA and ailerons are special because they have the same one on both sides. Because if they had different ones, they'd both pull up at the same time and both go down at the same time. And that wouldn't produce any turning force. But yeah, it looks like we are getting pretty close to being finished. Let's keep going up. Actually, let's spawn in first. So, what you're going to want to do, boys, is let me grab my trails first. We're going to need even more trails. And you're going to want to color these green too. Because these are, this is something special. I normally don't use trails for placement, but I realized if I didn't place it here, I'd have to place it farther and extend the distance than that. That would not be good. That'd be very bad. But anyways, so on the front end, front-ish part of this, not quite front, like right in front of this motor right here. I'm gonna place two of these, color them full green. So you remember to keep, not delete them. And then you're going to click on these guys, click on them, this guy, click on them. You're going to grab onto this guy facing backwards, aim it towards that end. This guy facing backwards, aim it on that end. And then you can finally dig into the front of this to finish this up. Let's just make sure we bought, copied that down right yet. We'll just copy into this, we'll delete this little front sliver and then it is okay I don't remember how I did this okay they connect from the bottom give me a sec let me copy my AWDA text so these travel underneath the wings and they are the reason you have these two trails which I'm not sure I quite, I'm not 100% sure I've placed them. Yeah, I haven't placed them yet. So you're gonna grab trail equals, you're gonna place them like this in front. And then you're gonna go camera, camera, and camera aiming to each side. So you're gonna go camera, 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 and then you're gonna have camera aiming here, camera aiming here. 
wait did I do that right yeah and then so then what happens next is we go signs text one by three come on good sign there you go a good sign does not like to bug out right retreat okay this goes over here this goes over here this goes over here over here and then finally last but not least Last but not least, yoink. And we are set, uh, other than placing these two little, two little half, half wedgies. My half wedgies go right over here. One, two. Wait, no, I placed that one too far back. And then go aim, aim, and finally, we should have all of our things connected. Um, so I guess we can see if this works. It looks very complicated now that it's not, especially since it's not colored in. Also, make sure you color these little, what did I color these landing gear? Just color them 000 to give them this nice black, extremely black look. And then for the, okay, I did something special for these. In order to get, get the color a little bit more even, I colored this, the backboard of them, to 14. No, I didn't mean to color that, that. I colored the backboard of them to 14, and then the, in the, this, these inner parts like 117, 119, 126, that's, you guys can see what's on my screen, but it is a little bit more purplish, red, green, blue. Let me lay off the, the blue a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. But basically, we're, I'm, I was trying to kind of get them to all look the same, or you could go all out white, but I was trying to get like a similar color, like if you looked from far enough back, it would look like the same color kind of idea instead of it being like because if you color it all white here's what it looks like you have a bunch of bright whites and then like it doesn't really quite look like a tire but i did that um also uh, let me, i'll link this in the comments hopefully along with that other type what only happens i'll publish the video and then forget to announce them and then like a week later you'll wake up in like a cold sweat and be like wait did i forget to add that to that video oh that one's upside down that's something else you'll notice. What I recommend doing is copying it from the from the description when I finally put it in there, and then set putting it in your little clipboard thing, and then just messing around till you know it's the right side uh, spot, and then just place it on top. Oh, I messed both of them up. Uh oh, summit. Wait, no, did I flip it upside down again? There we go. There we go. So now that that's done. Um, I think we can spawn it in. I think I got all the camera lock I've had, I've had so far. The only... Actually, yeah, this is all the camera locking done. Finally. I believe, yeah. Yeah, that's everything. So, make sure your main pilot seat clips to the left, or else your landing gear thing won't work. Um, I want you guys to run my private server. I was like, someone, someone told me my thing won't work. No. Oh, now it's coming together here. So, you can kind of... This is, now you can kind of see... Uh oh, wait, wait. We forgot to do something. So, here is something you... You have to do, or else the stuff will be very buggy. So, grab your TNT or springs if you're if you just like to use springs. If you're a goofy little guru who likes to use springs, and you're gonna put them right here on this edge. You're gonna place one TNT there, one TNT there, or or springs if you're using springs. One, two, and then you're gonna place an extra TNT on the side that's connected to O. So technically, this is the key you press. Actually, I, would, I was wrong in saying that the pistons are the key press first. You spawn in. You click O. Then you click L or whatever key you use. Okay, this one's stuck, which means I've bugged. I've bugged something. Let's see. Let's see what what's bugging. Let's get right into the news to see why this thing is bugging. Set up the settings, right? Let me make sure I'm not missing any extra TNT. Any any extra TNT blocks. What will happen is sometimes it'll clip an extra block into it. A way to avoid this, what I do is just... Let me just replace... Oh! oh give me a sec. Sorry, guys. I just remembered something. This, You know why I don't keep... The, I start these up? Because they bump into this and bug it around. They bump into those cameras. So what you need to do... Sorry, this is why I need to I start hearing these tutorials more. And start and stop thinking because I forget about these things that I've had for a while. 
remember having this issue for so long and trying to like mess around and fix it. But yeah, make sure both those are just a key you never press and already in place. And now, now it should work. Come on, pretty blues. Pretty blues. Pretty blues playing crazy. I wish upon a playing crazy star. Oh, oh, L. There we go. Let's go, boys. Make sure both of these work. These work too. Good. And then we can go zero minus. Hold until it's like approximately lined up. Make sure make sure everything's locked. And clip. H for landing gear on toggle thing. Let's make sure landing gear can go up nice. And then that closes on top. There's actually a little gap here which I'll have to fix. I think I'm, I'm not sure if I'm dropping block. Uh oh, looks like we missed a connection too on the bottom. But let's make sure the rest of the stuff works. Okay, the intakes are going to be right there. I need to color those in. But yeah, and once we add the rest of this angle, that'll cover up that. And yep, so we are doing pretty good so far. Um, but let me just make sure this connects. So, oh. There's no connection now, sorry. So I do have to keep this. This connection. But what did it connect to? Gosh, this is confusing. So it did connect to something. Wait, no, it does connect. No, but it doesn't connect. Oh, okay, now we're getting... Now things getting intense. This needs to be clipped. Oh! You know what I think I need to do? Let me just test this out. Oh my gosh. I think, I think there was a text there. To hold on to that if I was correct we'll, we'll see in a second so go L let me click on oh oh first to detonate that and then go on L do, 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 do. okay that's good um, then we're gonna go zero minus come on tap 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 there we go and then we go equals there we go but where did it go not sure and i don't care i'm assuming that okay just do whatever i did for there wait no i didn't no i still messed it up because where where is it now where have you gone you see the problem is this connects wait no that doesn't it doesn't connect to there because that thing goes in front of there okay uh looks like we're fine then just do what i did there for that camera and, uh, you know, I'm going to keep going. We're going to try to get the rest of this done today. So, because it's, it's cooler in a thumbnail. I can put final part. Final edition. But I don't know. I'm pretty tired. I have to... I'd rather get one part out today than, like, one big part out tomorrow. It, because YouTube kind of stuff, but... That camera's there. Uh, so this goes here. This little piece goes right here. Um, and it's right in front of that. It's lined up with this. So let me check to see what other landing gear part was falling off. It kept singing flopping off. Do not fall off. Please, landing gear. Because one of those landing gear parts was like just missing. And I need to figure out why. I need to investigate. The legend of the missing landing gear piece. Summit. The legend. Indiana Jones and the legend of the the missing landing gear piece. So there's actually an extra one of these it looks like that goes H. Top down. And goes from here to here. This might be... Okay, so yeah, just make sure you add that extra piece and then you'll be good. So, and anyways, we're going to keep going upwards. So this is where things got confusing because... I like deleted an extra block or something and changed some stuff up. It was one of those, what was it? It's like that one game, sticking like Rumi cubes or something, where you like, where you're trying to like create a bunch of patterns and you have like a possible idea of like, oh, maybe I could swoop up, like switch like one, like make an extra pattern and like mess up all the cards on the table or something. I don't know. Half of you guys probably, I mean, most of you guys probably play that game, but 
it was basically the equivalent of what if I did this one extra thing to get one extra angle in and then I en en ended up basically reworking this entire thing so it, it won't look as straightforward it's not like it's not like a firm motor locking design with a bunch of other stuff it's kind of like the motor lock squirms around to make room for everything I was trying to add on which is very it's kind of it's kind of goofy but it ended up working in the end so if it works I don't care about how I got there so gosh keep falling off okay but I mean like in game not real not on YouTube I'm not falling off you guys don't don't say that let's see so this goes over here we build this up and then we build this forward grab your text one by twos grab another trail Gosh, I really wanted to avoid any more lock picking, uh, poking upwards because I was like constantly using the same technique. These, uh, the epic, the ultra motor lock technique. I'm oh, sorry, I heard from sitting. I went away for so long, so I was trying to move around a bit. But anyways, let's see, so we have one that goes here. Gosh, my little Roblox thing dropped down from the top again. There we go, now it's gone. So we have one that goes there. Let's make sure it's the right alignment too, okay, good. So it connects to forward, and then this goes where? Okay, it goes to the side, and then it connects to a normal motor lock. So it's like this. And then this. Let's go. So close to finishing everything. Also, if there's any issues by the end of this thing, like uh, I'll notice them in like in my Discord and stuff, and then I'll like release like an extra edition, like mistake correction on thing, or mistake correction if I like missed something on the tutorial. But anyways, let's see. So this. Oh, keep falling. I won't keep falling now. Anyways, so let's see what we need to do. So this is a. 0.09 block on the on the right and then this goes around and connects to this oh so it doesn't actually connect to it so we go and grab some trails it's like singing watching a wire it goes down and around then up and then connects to that so so back so we're going back around like this down <coughs> And then it goes like that. Then we connect it like this. And it should connect right to right above this old one. Good. It should be aligned in front of that TNT. Good. One block off to the left. Good. And yeah, it looks like okay, everything's still on going good. Anyways, trails. I mean not trails, but this goes up. Up, 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 up. Until we're one behind that TNT. Actually, yeah, so actually, we know we only go up once, and then we go right, and then up. So we go up once, right, and then we go back, and then we go back. Actually, back would be a better word for already going up. And then we have a trail, trail combo. So trail, trail, and then that, so boing, 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 and once that's all done, where is my little thing, there we go, this thing, minus equals 0.08, 1000, equals doesn't matter, make sure this is the key, or whatever key you've chosen to angle, to angle everything, and then what else do we do? We have two trails going across. Two trails going across. Let me place those. Place these two little guys. One, two. We have one going down and one one in the front. Okay, this is a it's like basically a bunch of wires. At this point, you'll see. So you have something going down like this, something going under them like that. We have 
this trail thing keeps running all the way forward. This thing doesn't even connect to it, but it goes forward anyways. And then we have this, and it connects to this, so. Now we go, let me stand, block, block. And then we go triangle wedge. No, it's wedge, wedge. Get ready for the cockpit part, finally. Also, let me, let me fix one thing, give me a sec. Copy this RGB 303332. Make sure you have that on your intakes, or else they won't really look like intakes. Once that's all done, F wedge down. One, two, one, two. <laughs> one, two, and then we go. Let's actually finish the bottom part of this thing, too, so we can align it with that. So this is actually a half block right here. Then we go block, block, one triangle wedge by two. So we actually, you're gonna place something on this this edge of this thing. You're gonna go block, block, triangle wedge block one by two, triangle wedge, um, triangle, actually no, it's, where is it? Wedge, triangle wedge, here we go. And then you're gonna place another one on the other side by routing trails to the right and left route trails to the left of this and then you're gonna grab another triangle wedge and you're gonna go to triangle wedge block again make sure let me make sure this is aligned with my old one good and then we have let me just color these red again this just helps me keep an eye of like know to where I need to put the TNT because if it's marked I mean if it's not marked I can miss placing the TNT which is, isn't good but yeah, so we, this goes here. Then we have an X on each side. We have this. <laughs> we have this, which um, let me go. So it's block. It's 0.9. So make sure the arrow is on the side opposite of this uh, of this motor locking, or else it will connect. And then you're gonna go motor. You're gonna put a locked motor on both of those sides. And you're going to grab a trail. I'm gonna put that on top of that. And then you're going to extend that trail to the right, like one, two, one, two. Add a wing panel one by two on both sides. This is basically gonna be connecting to the top cover your intakes. You're gonna go half triangle, half triangle wedge. F triangle wedge, um, wedge two, so triangle wedge block, triangle wedge block, place another one right in front of this like that, grab some more triangle wedges, triangle wedge, triangle wedge, and then last but not least, sprinkle the last triangle wedges on above it, <clears throat> like that, <clears throat> and then, uh, actually then we have these half triangle wedges again, we're going to be using half triangle wedge sprinkle on like that and then we're leaving the rest of this open because this is all part of the canopy part that I've made that basically just plops up open so you can get in and out because there's no way I would have been able to fit any other type of canopy so I just thought a nice little top open one so you can get into your little B21 bomber would work so because honestly I don't even think they've revealed how how you even get it inside and out and this is actually a smaller scale than the actual bomber by a little bit so I guess you get what you get from some of some of build tutorials, and you can't really decide anything else. So it's gonna go like this: trail. Also, make sure you color this. So here's the part you're gonna want to color with glass material from here, and then just hold down that paint button until you get to the other side there. And now, actually, we're, we keep going up. So. On this side, we go from, actually no, it does, this, this part does connect to that part, and it connects like this, so, <clears throat> goes like one, one, two, that clips down, and we go one, two, that clips down, then we go to the left, left, and then I think that's where it ends actually, so then we go left, And then 
on the top we have a motor and then we have another two clipped and this should be lined up with this long TNT spike there we go and then we have some half wedges down no let me okay where did I place this extra one guys I need going hunting for the misplaced block oh gosh I hate misplacing blocks not fun because now there's an extra block somewhere on your build and you have zero clue where it is it's fine I'll have to find it later oh no here it is there you go it's like again where is Waldo 2.0 plain crazy edition pain I don't like I don't like where is Waldo I wish Waldo Waldo would just tell me where he is anyways this goes here and then we have two propeller blades and this is the downside propeller blades. They, they only come in two sections. I wish there was a one by one propeller blade so I could make a much more optimized, um, optimized little um, canopy. So, but it ended up being this massive chunk has to come up and down, but it's okay, it works. It's better than having a bunch of weirdly angled trap doors. And I think it looks cool. But this section right here, has a piston right here. We actually know it's farther back. So you have a piston right here. That's on J, so or whatever key you want to use to move it up and down. This locks and is toggled. But you have another piston that moves them into that moves this piece into the right spot. And this piston is right here. And then what you want to do next, let me make sure this is locked and not like a turning motor. I don't think it is. I don't know why that would be. Okay. Don't click that. Yes, this is just a locked motor, and it goes like this. So let me do this really quick. And then you're gonna grab this. Where did, I, where did I just place that camera? Over. No clue where I placed that camera. Oh, I placed it there. Okay. Then grab your signs, your text one by three. We need to place it right there. So what I'd recommend doing, place one there, and then place that under there. Um, and then delete that other one. So, so you have an, you're just using it as a base to like springboard off of to place something else. But then you're gonna grab your uh, wedge one by four. Then you gonna grab your so much quality quality language here and then we go like that grab your last half wedge downs one two three one two three and then you just end it off like this with these these little things half corner wedge down one by two surprised i didn't use half triangle wedges but uh, if it works it works so once that's all done uh, I I set this thing up to angle, right? Yeah, okay, that, that angle's right. And then, I mean, not that angle's right, that angle's collect correctly, I believe. But then we, this is what we're gonna do next. So right in this goofy goober little spot, you're gonna clip something off to the right, and then you're gonna, I mean, clip something off to the left, and you're gonna clip something off to the right, like this. So you're going to use little delta wings to get a good connection between these two. And for this, actually for this back one, since we don't want to have any more uh, delta wings affecting our build physics than we need to, just improvise a bit and you can slap in one like that. And there we go. So now that that's done, uh, that motor connects to there. That motor should be in line with this port down there. And then... Let's see what else we're going to do. So, we're going to have a motor here. So, that, I mean, that motor here that we already placed. But it connects to two blocks. And the other side does the exact same. I don't want to be placing glass. I want to be placing normal blocks right now. So, we're going to place go one, two. And go one, two. One, two, one, two. And then we have a triangle wedge block one by three that starts on this edge so what i recommend doing is place them randomly in front and then make sure it starts with i mean there's one block of space behind it and then you're going to go one by three and then one by two and then a half block thing so one by th start off with a wedge one by three should be aligned with this front piston and also the front i mean the back i guess you could say would be aligned with that part that end Check. It's always good to do like full body of your plane analysis, I guess. 
it's not really analysis, you're just looking at it and saying that all ends up right. It's always good to do that every so often, because if you don't, you could build the entire tutorial, the entire upper section of this tutorial off by like a block and then have to redo it, which would not be fun. I mean, at that point, I'd just give up. I'd be like, darn you, someone, I'm not doing any of these newfangled tutorials. These kind of come fumbling, confusing tutorials. But if you just make sure you check every so often and aren't messing up a bunch of stuff, you should be good. So what you're gonna do next is this is basically the end, the out, the, ex, the backside intake. I mean, what do you call them when they're not X takes? I mean, they're not called X takes. They're called like like afterburners, but but doesn't have an afterburner. I don't know what they're called. I'm just gonna call them outtakes for now. We're building the outtakes. I'm probably there's probably a word for it. My, my brain's just engines. No, it's not the engine. <sighs> I wish that I wish it was just like in intakes and outtakes. I mean that would make the most sense, but I feel like it's probably something more confusing. But anyways, place the place your old trap doors like this on top of each. So once both of those are placed on the back of those, and then you have an equals equals one on the interior side. Interior interior design interior side that goes right there and then what you have next is two of the blocks I, I paint them sand I use sand for my intakes normally you can do that but I don't really care that much right now I'm just gonna place the blocks down as default so default blocks there then you're gonna paint them the 30 30 33 32 or whatever color you want for your intakes you can have pink in intakes for all I care A little I don't know maybe red intakes maybe your engines really heating up not sure not sure. I don't, even, I don't even know if, what, if your intake color ever changes based off engine temperature. Uh, I'm not sure. No clue. But anyways, you place your two little things like that. Place the other two. Place two blocks next to it. Place a half block on top of it. And then you're going to basically build a little 2x2 two two platform to clip down onto the top to cover up the top of this block. You So that's all clipped down. That's set up, and then oh, so now we got to do the little canopy supports or cockpit supports. I don't, yeah, I think they're called canopy supports. Not sure, but this goes. You're gonna grab a delta wing on each side. You're gonna connect them like that. That goes like that. So um, normally, I'd want to connect these nicely. Not more nice, but. Wait, let me actually. Okay, is there space here? Why didn't I think of this, Summit? Summit, why didn't. Okay, uh oh. Uh oh. Never mind, I can replace that. I was like, I thought I deleted a text. I have no idea where it was. So I was like, that was about to be bad. But let me just place this. Okay, so that's where all those texts are. But I'm, I'm surprised I didn't think of this earlier. This design idea. But I can just. Because now we don't need a little strut running through the middle of our singing cockpit. We can just not have that by doing this. See you guys? So you guys, brilliance. Masterminds at work here at Summit Builds. I'm so, I'm so stupid, I didn't think of this earlier. I, I remember fidgeting around with this, being like, oh, how can I fit it? Just use a text, goofy. Should have thought of this oh, a couple years ago. Come on, let me place it there, there we go. And then you're gonna grab your little half triangle wedges. Both of those go right there. And those basically connect like this. No, 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 wait, let me grab my WAD text text. Those connect to this front part. So the way it works is like this. So you have that one trail poking out right, and then you go texts in 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 out <clears throat> out out Q cameras. Out, out, and then yeah, that's done. So then, what you do next? Actually, yeah, actually, yeah. So all we need to do is this upper part. Give me a sec. So this runs. This this connects through. Not not like no no connects like this. Come on, let me see where my texts, my little trails are. So it connects underneath us. So we go right, starting off. Start off by going right from these cameras that we've clipped. 
and then you go text one by three forward, I believe. Yeah, text one by three forward, and then text one by three to the side. So you're gonna do this next, and then this to the side. And then you're gonna grab some text one by twos. You're gonna place a text one by two like this underneath, and then you're gonna place a text one by two under both of those sides. And once that's done, actually no, you have a text. Actually, wait, yeah, no, this one's a text one by three again. Forgive me, viewers, I've made a, a little mistake. There we go. There we go. And then you grab a trail. So it's going to be like this. Delta wing one by one. And this is also clipped to the right slightly. But, yeah, just like this. That connects to there. And... I think we're done with... Or there might be there's probably like a couple small things I have to fix, but I mean uh, let's all add it. Let's add in all the TNT first. So we're gonna go PVP blocks, explosive blocks, semicolon. And it looks like we have one, two. So we start underneath this thing, back, 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 right, side. So it's we have that front side and we have this other side and we have one here and we have two on top and then one on the very back two on top two right there and then we have one right here I believe that's basically all the TNT we need to make this build function wait 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 we have a bit more a bit more t uh, TNT required. A little bit more TNT needed. So we have one there. And then we have one on the left of this thing. Whatever this is. Whatever this part was, right there. Actually, there's one on the bottom of that too, actually. I think it's something like this. I don't know. That seems to just work. I just spammed it everywhere until, it started, until my build worked. I was like, click, 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 click. And once it stopped working, I just started to stop placing the TNT. But yeah, I think this works. I believe this should work. So let's spawn it in. Let's make sure, number one, we don't have any parts from our build dropping. Okay, we have one part. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot this little part right here. Which seems small, but it's actually the entire mechanism that holds this thing in place. So, on the rear of this, this part right here, we have a text one by two that holds these two things together. And on the other side, we have another text one by two. Which you know, it's a text one by three. And it basically, is, we're connecting. We are connecting using, so it's a text one by three from this side. So, start off, when we place something here. One, two. Um, this goes like this. This goes, wait, let me grab it like this. And this goes up like this. Like this. Okay, good. Actually, I, we, give me a sec, you don't need to have AWAD on like that. Okay, no, let me, let me, let me grab a normal text side. Okay, that connects to that. Grab a little text there. And then finally to finish it off, camera. No, 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 not there. There we go. Yay. Yippee. Let's see if this works. Come on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Wait, why do I feel like I'm missing a piece on the front? Oh I am. I am missing something on that front. And that is these two triangle wedges. There we go. I missed a little, a little piece. Wait, we're some. This part's dropping down. Whatever this is. Oh, yep. So we gotta fix this piece too. Whatever this. How does this connect? Through signs, I believe, but not sure where. Oh, here that here here's how it connects. Grab grab our grab our little magnifying tool. 
AW, AW, AW. Okay, and then it just connects to this sign right here. So you know how there's this little part right there that pokes out? We're gonna grab a trail, we go forward, and then you're gonna go signs text one by two, down, up, down. Actually, knows that text one by three for this for for this last stretch. Actually, no, it's one by two. Okay, one by two. One by two. One by two. Down. Did I mess up placement? Did I mess up some placement? Should be aligned. I mean, it looks like it has the right placement. Give me a sec. I think I might have mixed something up. So there's a trail there. Oh, it's top then down. Okay, give me a sec. I just realized what I got, what I set up wrong. So it's actually this, this little guy. So I thought we were placing up from there, but no, we're actually placing from, um, there's actually a separate motor lock piece right here. Okay, this makes way more sense. So it, it's placed like this, and then it goes like this. So yoink, 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 and then up, and then we go text one by two, um, down, down, up, up. Okay, here we go. This should be everything. Number one, we spawn in. Check. Our seat clips to the left. Check. We're in the middle. Uh, middle axis for our build. O. L. Then we go zero minus. Clip. Okay, so we're missing one piece. That's We're missing something that's connecting. Um, so let's just go over this. We're going to use logic. This is what I need you guys to use. Logic. L-O-G-I-C. Whenever your tutorial that you spawn in doesn't work, follow the motor locking. Motor locking connects there, connects to there. This connects to this. This. Uh, so this connects to there. This connects to this, connects to that. Connects to this, connects to this, connects to this, connects to this. We go up, we go up, everything's still connected nice. This connects to this, connects to this. Okay, right out here, you see this? We found a spot where it isn't fully connected. So let's go to the other side and see what we've missed. Oh, we've missed this piece right here. And ta-da, now we can respawn again and figure out how to set up our build right. This is what you guys need to do. If your tutorial isn't working, try to use this. If you suck at doing this, then I guess, uh, tough luck, you'll have to join my Discord and put your thing in tutorial issues. And I'll have to help you. I'll have to guide your hand of printing greasing. Come on, so close. So close, yet so far from finishing the tutorial. Yo, okay, I think we are done. Oh wait, we forgot the front landing gear. Uh, let's do that in a sec. Let's just make sure all our functions work. We're like a little, you know how the little Lego sets will have like a sink and all their little functions. We have landing gear. Check. Good. Bomb bay door. I mean, bomb bay door working. I mean, no, two, three, four. F okay, they don't like to fall out when you're stuck in place because it makes it hard for them to clip out. Like, see? Like, see, they're trying to clip my door. But yes, working canopy. Correct? Yay. Yes, working canopy. If this bomb wasn't there, let me scoot it out of the way. Get out of here, bomb. No one loves you. No one loves you, little goofy goober looking bombs. Come on, get off my plane. Okay, let's check this again. Also, let's make sure we can also remember there's cameras here. So when you're entering, you're going to want to enter from this side normally. Um, oh gosh, just got shoved out. Like, you, you want to you enter from around here, get behind your seat, and then walk forward. There we go. Canopy works let's make sure everything can retract b and yep this is our final product aileron's working can we fly forward i'm holding down on shift did i forget to put my thing did i forget to set my thing up i think i forgot to set up the thing right the um 
I, oh yeah you see right here i forgot to add the one like this one block missing can prevent your entire um hover thrust thing from working so we're gonna add this and then our landing gear so this motor motor and then we're gonna put that there text one by just a normal little text one by two also remember bombs little prone to getting stuck um in your thing uh so yeah you're gonna wanna, uh only try to release them when you're like high flying and moving because then they'll kind of want to clip outwards post let me place that there and then that's done um uh, where did I put the landing gear? Here you are, you see? They'll hide, hide in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight. So we have this thing connected right here. Connected. So it goes right here. And then there's a PV. I no, don't want to place that there. Where's, where, how does it connect again? It has a PV... No, tra there's trail and a PVP, P, PVP block behind it. Trail connects it to here. Extra PVP block right here. Explosive block. Shove it behind this. Just slow it down a bit better. Actually, if this connects to this, you don't even need that one. But it's fine. Um, connect like that. And then you're just going to grab a bunch of signs and run them all the way up. So grab my signs one by two. My text one by two, sorry. I keep saying signs. If I say signs and I'm placing a text one by two, don't try to like place a sign one by two, it won't work. Signs have hit signs basically have hitboxes everywhere. Like they're the exact opposite of texts in like the way they're the way they kind of work, but or the way they're used at least. Trails, like you use signs when you need a bunch of stuff connected together. You use tra um you use text when you want something to that like you want something that doesn't have a hitbox that has like barely attached or or something that only has like two sides attached to each other and is invisible. You basically use them as like a um, like a counterpart to cameras that doesn't touch anything. But anyways, let's go to small tiny landing. No, we don't tiny small. I I love the fact there was only tiny and small landing gear. My head always it always threw me off because I assumed like, okay, where's the big landing gear though? And there was none, you had to make your own. But copy this, I mean, these are the settings I use, so... I mean, I think I just used the base settings. Actually, no, I flipped it, so D, A, G, and then steering on. And then, looks like we can spawn in, fine. Let's see if this works. Also remember for the motor for your hover engine, it's just everything's off on it. So, step one. Oh. Step two, L or whatever key you use for your pistons. And then step three, angle. Step four, let go and clip. Step five, take off. Let's go boys. Look at that thing. It's bugging around. So let's make sure everything's working good. Oh, landing gear open, landing gear closed, bomb bag closed. zoom into first person there's actually a couple signs i added just to give a bit of detail but we'll add those in a second two three four one. drop the bombs release the bombs there we go actually they landed into the void oh gosh they're not i'm getting like seeing three fps with all those bombs left once i hit the void i'll get my fps back you'll see it okay there we go you can see how it's, it's coming back and then there we go all the bombs finished dropping so let's go in for a nice little landing after we've dropped those bombs Oh gosh, getting another lag spike. It's probably because my plan. Oh, you see, it's. Oh, it's crashing into the water. Water is the most laggy thing in this game. Like, it'll go out of the water, I'll get my 3 FPS back, and then I'll go in. It's so laggy, I can land so much easier, though. Boink, boink, boink. Skid, and nice landing. Pop open our little hatch, walk around, and yeah, it looks like that we're done for the most part. Um, oh, so I love I love these things. Um, I forgot it. Give me a sec. One thing to do: change A. So you want to do this equals equals. This is what I basically do for every single basic control surface. I set them to equals equals, so I don't press them because I don't need to. But yeah, let's add these little signs I added. Uh, I'll, I'll try to link these in the description too. Um, but I use little signs one by ones. I you can color. I mean, you can change them whatever you want. But 
I, I just placed them underneath it like th like this, I believe. Actually, actually no, I placed them farther forward. I mean, farther back, not farther forward. Um, so I would just do something like this. Let me stand here. Grab your signs. Just little signs, one by one. Did I copy it? No, I didn't copy it. Let me grab it. Copy. This is this is like a generic um, control surface thing design I use. Um, and yeah, this will work. Uh, you can toss. What did I toss? And I tossed and thinking I down half, which I believe. A little goofy goober down half. Actually, yeah, I switched them up though. So it was actually okay. So this is what you, I want you guys to do. So you're gonna delete the window. Place a half wedge facing upwards. We rotate, rotate, and then you're gonna grab the half wedge two. Grab some glass. Make sure it's half wedge two, because half wedge looks like this. Wedge wedge looks like this. Which one do you think will give you more space to move around in your little canopy? This one will. So you want to use the one on the left. So there we go. What did I use? I think I pitch blacked my windows. I think. Actually, I colored them this. I colored them a slight green tint because I know. <laughs> I love how real, like, precise I'm being on the windows, but everything else is basically ignored. But yeah, um, I noticed in the image it looked like they had a, like a very slight green tint. But also remember, if you want to color yours, camouflages 159, 161, 172 for the darker one, and I just colored my canopy and stuff. Um, canopy, canopy, this parts of the top. And then this, and then the tops of the intakes, and these intake sides, that gray, and then everything else except for the things that have already been colored black, like these intakes, um, and the for and the stuff I just mentioned, is this white, like light, lightish white stuff. But once you have that all done, you are basically set. Let me save the B, save another successful tutorial. We got like 500 blocks done today. That's pretty good. So I'll spawn in and. Um, let's, let's just fly around one last time. O, L, zero, minus, lined up, clip, uh oh, wait, didn't want to clip this time. Let's make sure, let's make sure we, let's make sure this, that's a one-off thing. Because that'd be horrible I ended the tutorial right as my thing refused to clip or angle. Oh wait, I've connected, so I've connected something wrong then. Actually, no, it's trying to clip. It's... Gosh, give me a sec. We have to... F oh! Place an extra sign. See, one extra block I misclick on. And my entire build goes... Summit, I can't turn. You placed a sign. Let's see, come on. Come on. Oh, P, L, work. Work, 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 come on. I know you can do it. Work, 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 work. Let go. Clip. And there we go. There you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. Your B21 tutorial. Re gear attracted. And there it is. All oh, it's, oh, its glory. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope the tutorial ended good for you. Remember, uh, in my Discord. Um, oh yeah. Also, if your plane's wobbling, replace all the hover engines with rocket, super rocket engines. Massively will juice this wobble. Right now, mine's wobbling. Mine normally doesn't wobble, but that's because I have all this extra lag over here. That's basically bugging me out. So, but yeah. Th um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you have a black camouflage, remember use large back squares. But. Yeah. Um, hope the tutorial ended out for you, well for you. If it didn't, like if you have some bug that keeps bothering you, um, I need you. I'm gonna link my Discord in this video. Hopefully, uh, join it, submit it in tutorial issues, and um, get like a couple good high quality images if you can. So record a video and post it on Streamable, and then link it to uh, link it in, um, and then link that Streamable link in tutorial issues, um, and just record like you spawning in, and then what angle whatever angle's bugging and then just record you like trying to move that angle or, or just to give me an idea of what might be broken for you and then I can uh, basically give you guys pointers on how to fix um, something. Uh, feel free to edit this tutorial however you want like you might like some of you guys 
might be able to invest more time into this build than I am. Like you might be able to clean up some of these. Like I could imagine if you wanted to, you could you could place an extra block here, try to figure out where that was. Actually, I never got around to doing that, but um, place an extra block there to block that out. But yeah, um, just thanks for watching, everyone. Hope this tutorial went well for all of you. Um, I'm still confused on this one block in the front. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all later. Um, if I figure out how to fix this one stinking nose cone block, because I'm not sure if it's bugged or if it's supposed to look like that, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe on the uh, like, comment, subscribe, and then yeah, see you guys later. Uh, bye bye.